Hello, Aussies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. I want to talk a little bit about antenna analyzers and an antenna analyzer called a SARC 100, S A R K hyphen 100, that you can get on Amazon. There are a different variety of these, and I want to give you a little background on what's going on and why this might be a inexpensive but good alternative for you. But before we jump in and look at that, I'd like to thank Bill Castles, who is a patron of this channel. If you too would like to become a patron of this channel, go to patreon.com slash ke0og. We're going to talk about antenna tuners. Now the thing about antenna tuners, this is my first antenna tuner right here. This is the MFJ259B. They're up to the D model now. Uh, these run 300-ish, um, $300-ish, a little bit something like that. This is a full-featured antenna analyzer. One of the reasons I like it is because by tuning the knobs you can check the SWR at any frequency. And if your antenna happens to tune outside the band, you can detect it with this. Now, here's a fancier antenna analyzer. This is a rig expert, made in the Ukraine. Okay, you can sort of tell from the colors, I guess. Um, but the um, this has can do a lot of things, including a Smith chart, if you're into Smith charts, which I'm not. Uh, but Smith charts can be very... Uh, valuable. Uh, this is um, made in the Ukraine. It was exported through Canada and it was given to me by the company for review. It's a very nice little thing. It'll do graphs of your uh, SWR on uh, different bands. You can pick the different bands to do it. It's not as flexible in this one in terms of which frequency you go to, but it's not just turning a knob, you've got to punch it in and, and get the frequencies, but it's a very, very nice antenna analyzer. And again, we're talking the $300, $400 range. And Augie put me onto this in one of the comments, okay? Um, this is a SARC 100 antenna analyzer. It's made in China. Let me tell you about the SARC project. The SARC project. I've got the manual for the thing here. It was a kit that was offered some years ago by Melkor uh, Varela, Echo Alpha 4 FRB, which is in Spain. Okay, so this was a Spanish open source project. And the idea was there was a little kit. Here are all the pictures, parts, and pieces that it came with. Okay, and... There, uh, you put the kit together, but this comes fully assembled, so you can skip all that, and then you get uh, to the instructions on how to use it, and it does very nearly everything uh, either of these others do. Now, what we're going to do is um, use this. It takes external 12 volts or you can put a whole bunch of batteries inside. I recommend the external 12 volts. The same with this, you can put a whole bunch of batteries, 10 AA's inside of this, or just use 12 volts for it. And this right here is just uh, a couple, let's see how many we've got. Three, I'm sorry, four AAA's. And it doesn't take so much power as these uh, other ones do, okay? So, let's take the antenna off the back of my radio here. Which is easier said than done when you're doing it from this angle. Okay, now we're going to connect this to the hex beam, which is D. No, that's the big IR. That's the big IR. Where's the hex beam? It's F. It's to do F. We're connecting that to F. Okay, that's the big IR. So this is going to be resonant on 20 meters. So let's put this in here. And we've got this 
uh, bioeno a lithium iron phosphate battery uh, which we're going to use to power uh, this okay and we're going to go to 20 meters which will be in here we'll go down to 17 uh, to 14 okay here is the bottom of the band we've got an SWR of 1.5 to 1 and we go up to the top of the band and it's got an SWR just a little bit over two okay so the antenna tuner that is in this radio can handle that fine now this allows you with this analyzer here you can do a whole bunch of other things like check the length of cable uh, check uh, oh capacitance inductance and so on okay so now this antenna is actually resonant where this is 50 it's resonant right there 50 ohms it's 17358 so the antenna is slightly long there's 50 ohms again at 13964 so it is a real world antenna analyzer now let's uh, uh, put this on the Ukrainian we don't need the battery for that. Now the reason there's an adapter on this is because it comes with an end connector which is what is common in Europe. Okay, so we turn it on uh, here. Okay, and we go to an SWR chart, enter. Okay, okay. And we're going to go to band 20 meters is 5. Okay, and then we're going to start the SWR. And just like the other, see it shows the SWR across the band. It passes 2.0 right there, but it does not exceed 3 across the band. So even though the there's no provision for adjustment on the MFJ hex beam. So we just have to work with it as it is. All right, so this gives you the nice little graph, which is really nice, okay? And this has a connection to a computer so that you can do other marvelous and wonderful things. So let's turn this off. And now we will go to the SARC 100. Now remember, the SARC 100 does everything that these other two do. Again, a connection to a computer. Okay. And we'll put the power on it. And here, okay. A SARC antenna analyzer. And we're going to go band. Um... Well, you can 12, 20. Okay, now you can set it up to scan like a band, and this will tell you where the lowest things are, and we see that as we get across 14, what the bandwidth is okay so let's stop the scan okay bandwidth 610 this is the 3 to 1 bandwidth on the thing or might be 2 to 1 bandwidth okay so uh, we've got different modes SWR okay 1.5 with the magnitude of the impedance being 67 ohms or we can look at the 64 ohms plus J19, okay, to get the impedance. We can look at the capacitance that it's viewing, and it's none because it's into an antenna. And the same with the Henry's, it's very low. But you can actually measure capacitance and inductance across there. And back to the original. Now, you've got bands that you can go through, a whole configuration menu, 
the PC length, for example, step size, uh, timeouts, calibration. You can calibrate this one. You can calibrate these others, but it, they don't talk about it. Uh, which software loaded has back to the PC link, okay? Now, let's take a look for a moment at the handbook. This is the manual. Let me push this out of the way. Here is the manual, SARC 100. Now, why are these things so inexpensive on Amazon? About $120. The reason is because they're made in China, and they didn't have to pay the designer anything. Now, the SARC 100 is technically obsolete, okay? And uh, this is a 2010 manual, so this is 12 years old. But it talks about all the little things that you can do. And antenna measurements, feed point impedance, measuring the ground loss, adjusting antenna tuners, capacitor measurement, inductor measurement, measure inductor Q, that's nice. Transmission line characteristic impedance, transmission line losses, transmission line stub lengths, transmission line velocity factor. And then there is PC software that is available for this. Okay, now note that the PC software is also 12 years old. And if it's 16-bit, it won't work anymore. But why is this not current? That's because Melkor has gone on and has designed the SARC 110. Now the problem with the SARC 110 is it's a whole different creature, okay? And it's priced more comparably to these antenna analyzers here, even though these don't really do anything more than this thing does right here, although the um, rig expert will do Smith charts for you. Now, I don't know what's in the software for this. But for an inexpensive antenna analyzer to get you up on the air, this is exactly the kind of thing that you may be looking for. So uh, let's take a look on Amazon. Okay, we're going to do SARC 100 antenna analyzer. Okay, you're going to find a whole bunch of things. Uh, here's one right here. Antenna analyzer right here for $122, okay? Now, whereas the MFJ 259D, which does about the same thing, is $324. So you see, you can save a lot of money on this thing. But uh, let's just go to this page right here. Um, they tell you all about it. Um, and it is made from this open source project. Does that mean Melker's getting any money out of it? No, unfortunately it does not. That's the way open source works. Anybody can build this, okay? Uh, and the firmware and stuff comes from the original project. So that's SARC 100 antenna analyzer. This isn't light, it's uh, got a steel case on it, so it's nice and heavy and sturdy and everything. So this is an opportunity to pick up a pretty full-featured antenna analyzer at a bargain price, less than $130 on Amazon, which is where I got mine. So I thank the person who commented and suggested I try one of these because it's a great way to have a good working antenna analyzer. It gives you the same results as this over here. Um, and Frankly, I like working with the antenna analyzer rather than trying to guess. So, there you have it. If you would like to help support this channel financially, you can do so by going to decastler.com support and looking for a way that works for you. Until we next meet, 73.